All right, let's go to Olga Spina now, tracking our forecast. Olga, we have potentially rain and snow in the forecast, right? Yes, you know, finally uh, feeling a little bit more like the holidays approaching. Uh, but as we head into this upcoming work week, uh, we are tracking rain and snow. Uh, the sunset time tonight, that was at 444 in the afternoon. So we continue to get those uh, shorter days across our region as we approach winter solstice, which is now in uh, just a bit over two weeks, 16 days to be exact. Christmas, 20 days away and uh, 20 26 days until New Year's Eve. So here's a check of our satellite radar as we head into early tomorrow. Uh, weak Santa Ana wind event uh, bringing us that offshore flow, helping to clear things out. So not as much cloud cover and fog expected as what we experienced this weekend. And then here are some of the big changes as we head into Tuesday. Take a look. Uh, even the overnight hours, we're going to start seeing a little bit of moisture across our area and uh, we even have a chance of getting some rain. So as we head into your commute time, here we are at just after 7 a.m. You can see that line of heavy rain moving through the Inland Empire as well as uh, into Orange County. And uh, that's going to move through pretty quickly by late morning into the Coachella Valley. And then as we head into Thursday and uh, early Friday, once again, another low pressure system bringing us a shot at some rain as well as some high elevation snow. So this is going to be for the resort level. Those uh, passes not really expected to be impacted. Here's a look at what is happening. The big picture by Tuesday again, a chance of getting a little bit of rain. Uh, Wednesday will be that transition day. We'll see those temperatures warm a bit and then numbers really drop with that Pacific storm system on Thursday into the early part of Friday. As far as totals, we're expecting some lighter amounts for the most part, about a quarter of an inch or less. Some of our mountains could get a little bit more than that, uh, but at this point we will take what we can get. High temperatures for your Monday to start the work week, uh, pretty close to seasonal averages, 60s along the coast and some 70s for some of those inland areas. Here's a look at the extended outlook. So you'll notice tomorrow pretty comfortable in the 70s for a lot of those inland spots. Tuesday, numbers start to drop with that chance for some rain. Wednesday, a slight bump in the numbers before we cool things down once again by Thursday, Friday. Next weekend, yes, it's still going to be mild, but dry conditions expected. Here's a check of the IE, the high desert, as well as the mountains. I'll send it back to you guys. Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Alex Biston. As we get closer and closer to winter, the sun will continue to rise later and set earlier. Today's sunset was at 443. Next month, the sun will set at 458. In February, sunset time will rise to 527. And in three months, the sun will set closer to 6 o'clock. The gift of a toy means so much to a child in need. With your help, we can make the holidays special for kids in our community. Join the CHP, CBS2, and KCAL9 for the Chips for Kids Toy Drive. To donate, you can text TOYS to 76278. Go to cbsla.com slash chips for kids, bring a new unwrapped toy to one of our drop-off locations, or visit your local CHP office. Together, let's make a difference. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.